Uh, hi everyone, welcome to this talk on Tied Up Your Life using I3 Window Manager and Tmux. Uh, my name is Leon Nunes. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me on Twitter, my handle is Mediocre DevOps. Uh, I'm also found at other social platforms like LinkedIn. Uh, you can just scan the QR code and get the link tree account. Uh, so I work as a technical support engineer at Solar.io. Uh, and currently this talk is on I3 Window Manager and tmux so let's begin with this so i had no clue about uh, tiling window managers or i3 vm for that three years ago or something like that uh, i used to use manjaro and i was very happy with it until it crashed and it was not recoverable and i had to literally reinstall the entire system right so i and it was around new year so i had a lot of time on my hands so I was like, uh, let's try something new. I used to frequent this sub called Unix Pond, and I used to see a lot of these people, you know, doing something called as rising their desktops, right? Where they used to create these very good looking themes. So I thought I'd give it a try. Spoiler alert, it did not go as expected. The amount of customization required, required a lot of time. And I was just not that patient. So I did a minimal uh, customization, right? And Tmux also was a quite useful tool when I was doing uh, Linux administration and all these things, right? Because you had a lot of logs to look at and a lot of terminals to switch to, right? So Tmux was a very helpful tool that time also. So what exactly is a tiling window manager? That's the whole question. What can it do for you? So tiling window manager are something that tile your windows rather than float it. For example, if you go to an XFC4 desktop manager, uh, you would open it, open a window and it would open in a float mode, right? Where you'd had you could minimize it, you could maximize it, close it, something as such, right? And if you open a new window after that, it would just float over that, right? So you'd have two windows and you would drag them and sort of set them up however you want, right? Which can be a bit time consuming and switching between those are not as easy, right? You have to take the mouse and switch. Uh, Tmux is something that's called a terminal multiplexer. Basically what it does is it will multiply your terminals, right? And you can have multiple terminals just in one, one Tmux instance. So what are the benefits of a tiling window manager? Tiling window managers keep the clutter out. There are no home screen icons. It is very lightweight, right? Uh, you get more screen space when you have no gaps or anything in between of the windows. And you can configure it as to your needs. This, I'm, this is for i3 window manager, what I'm talking about. There could be window managers that support desktop files and all. It all depends on the window manager. Tmux is basically a terminal multiplexer. You can have multiple terminals. It comes with a clock, which I usually use sometimes to just keep a track of the time. Or you can also use it as a Mac OS Windows, Mac OS thing where people just, you know, leave their laptops, their clocks on. It's very handy for that. So let's see a small demo on how this looks on my desktop. So for example, this is an example of how tiling window managers work. For example, I could just do this and I open a Google Chrome tab, right? And now if I just wanted a terminal next to it, I have a terminal next to it. I don't have to do any window dragging. I do not have to move my mouse. If I want to switch between these two, I could just switch with keyboard. Right? If I want another terminal window, which is uh, vertical, I could just hit a shortcut and then hit the terminal shortcut and I would get a whole new window, right? This is it. This is, <laughs> this is the most uh, selling feature of a tiling window manager. That and it is completely cu customizable. For example, if I want to launch a, a new application, I just hit a shortcut. If I want to switch between windows, I just hit a shortcut. Right? And if I want to close a window, rather than having to go and click the X icon, I can just hit a shortcut and it will all do this for me, right? And in case it still feels like a, you know, huge task to switch to a tiling window manager, there are a lot of dot files available on Reddit on the sub that I mentioned, right? Uh, and there are a lot of people on GitHub also that publish that dot file. So, 
let's see tmux for tmux now for example i have something like this right where i have a k9s window running for with kubernetes pods and usually if i want to check the logs i i just open a window where i can just see the logs of this i could resize these windows then if i want it just for port forwarding i usually just open multiple windows that are port forwarding windows so i can just close them when i require them or something like that right and yeah the main feature the clock right? so you can have a clock also using this so this is what i was talking about i know it's a meme but uh, usually the the, the window decorations right? uh, they are just disabled like we don't keep them we don't need them basically uh, for example if i wanted to hide a window i could just do windows g and it just hides it and usually you can configure a shortcut to just open that window that you have moved to something called a scratch pad but i don't have it right now so i just have to cycle through the window and then once it is done i can just have the window back so these are the apps that usually go well with ic window manager and i have used you can just take a look at these apps another thing is i have also shared a link a list of things that are in the that usually have all the good stuff for for you to view you can just the slides are shared right you can just go through these and see them uh so that's it for this talk thank you thank you for listening hope it helps you have a nice day. uh i'd also like to thank uh, the linux foundation for letting me speak at this event